Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Friday evening Thunder Social. My name is Bailey Grady, and I'll be your facilitator this evening. I'm super excited. We have some really fun activities tonight. Um, we're going to get a couple things done in our journal and um, do a fun opening activity. It's going to be a good time. So if this is your first social, welcome. The way this is going to work is we do have some activities to do together. I'll present a few slides on screen with um, the prompts and like tips and tricks. Um, and then we'll put on some music for you to actually do the activity in your journal. And you will also be getting some great tips and tricks and inspiration from your fellow Sonder members in the chat. And in order to share in the chat, you're going to want to make sure that you set that little blue box above where you type to everyone. Sometimes it will default to host and panelist, um, and if it does that, not everyone will be able to see what you have to say. So we want everybody to be able to see what you're sharing. So be sure that you just um, move that little blue box over to everyone before you share. Yes, Marianne sees the, I have a furry friend with me tonight. His name is Groot. <laughs> so he's just hanging out there in the, in the background tonight. He's ready to also get his thunder on. Um, so without further ado here, let me just go over our community guidelines. Um, so, as always, be kind and courteous to yourself and others. No promotions or spam, please. Um, respect everyone's privacy. You know, we like to get real deep here in Sonner Club and share some vulnerable things. And so we want to make sure we're respecting everyone's privacy when we do that, which, of course, we need a safe space to do. So no hate speech or bullying. And try to limit repetitive product and accessory questions. We don't mind a little bit here and there, but we definitely want to stay focused on our activities at hand. Um, also, I have the wonderful Malika helping out in the chat tonight. She's my amazing stage manager. Um, so she'll be here to answer questions and things when I'm not able to. She's popping on to say hello, waving to you all. Um, but there are some things that neither she or I will be able to help you with because that's going to be limited to our headquarters team. So if you ask a question like that and we direct you over to hello at silkandsonder.com, that is so that we can get you the best help possible with the people who are best equipped to help you. And finally, Sonder Socials are a tool to help elevate your emotional health through the power of community, but you're responsible for your own emotions, well-being, and decisions. So what that means is if you're new, you probably have already noticed, like, you don't have to worry about if your camera is on or off. You don't have to worry if you're muted. I will be the only person on camera tonight. So come as you are, be in your jammies, get cozy, whatever feels right for you. Settle into your space. Um, what it also means is as we go through tonight, if there is ever a prompt or anything that comes up that starts to get into some of those crunchy emotions where it's like, I don't really know if I'm feeling this tonight. I don't know if I want to dive into this. That's okay. This is your permission right now to skip it, come back to it later, do something different, color in your coloring page, jam out to the music. Don't jam out to the music. Hang out in the chat. Don't hang out in the chat. Whatever it is that you need from tonight, we want you to be able to take that. So our agenda this evening, we're going to be doing a super fun opening activity and you'll have some good time to do that. And then we're going to kind of take it back a little bit, go a little more zen, and write our gratitude letters. And then we're going to set up our fun bingo board. So our opening activity, I'm super excited, um, is going to be around being superheroes. And as you all know, our theme this month is confidence. So you kind of have to think about what's your superpowers and what's going on. And that kind of like ties directly into our theme. And I think it ties back into the best way to approach confidence in my opinion. Um, and Mayha pointed this out in her opening letter as well. She was like, so what does confidence mean? And she talked about how, you know, for her, what it means is like inner validation and a whole bunch of great other things. Um, but I felt like that initial question of like, what does confidence mean for me? Like, that's really important. That's super key because what we all need to grow confidence in ourselves is going to look different from person to person. It's going to look different from season to season. Another thing Mayha talked about in her opening letter is that confidence is not a destination. It's a journey. And so we're always going to kind of be growing and developing that in ourselves a little bit as we move through life. So for me, confidence means radical and consistent self-love. That's what I'm going to need. That's that special sauce that I'm going to have to have going in order to grow in my confidence in myself. 
Um, and I have some really great quotes here up on the screen that I'll share as well. So confidence isn't thinking you're better than anyone else. It's realizing you have no reason to compare yourself to anyone. Um, love yourself, accept yourself, forgive yourself, and be good to yourself because without you, the rest of us are without a source of many wonderful things. Accept yourself, love yourself, and keep moving forward. If you want to fly, you have to give up what weighs you down. And the root of true confidence grows from our ability to be an unconditional friendship with ourselves. So if any of that resonates with you, great. I am so excited that it does. If it doesn't and confidence means something totally different for you, that's great too. Just asking that question of yourself and like getting into those feelings and really like getting curious, right? Like just getting curious with ourselves and going, hmm, I wonder what does confidence mean for me is going to be the key to that. And so if you already know what confidence means to you, you can go to page three and you can write that down in that space. And if you're still figuring it out, that's okay too. Um, it might also be fun if you write something down now, like I did at the end of the month, come back and see if it's changed at all. Or if you're not writing something down now, maybe see if at the end of the month it comes to you. But Whatever confidence means for you, I hope that you get to explore it further this month. Now, onto that super fun activity I mentioned. So for this activity, you're going to want to flip to a blank page or space within your journal. This is not pre-printed. This is just for our social tonight. If you're somebody that fills up all the nooks and crannies within your journal and uses all the free pages, amazing. We love that you're going to want to grab like a spare piece of paper or another notebook or something that you can doodle and color on. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to do a superhero sketch. So you're going to imagine yourself as a superhero, whatever that means to you. And think about what are your powers? What's your mission? What's your outfit? And then you're going to sketch that imagination of yourself or write a few words. If you're more of a words person, that is okay. Um, and then you're going to imagine yourself fighting your nemesis. So what did they look like? How do you defeat them? And then add to your sketch or write some other words. Now, that's a lot of things all at once. So don't worry. We're going to come back to this prompt. But I want to show you for inspiration, we have some superheroes here. And you're going to see some of them are super fun. They're like what you might think of originally when you think of superheroes. But some of them are just like everyday folks in certain professions battling different things. Um, or just everyday people doing everyday things, being explorers and looking around, right? So being a superhero can look like a lot of different things and it can look like whatever that means to you and whatever that resonates for you. So for some more inspiration, I have some superpowers here. Some of these are like fun imaginary superpowers, like the um, power of invisibility. And some of them are real life superpowers, like vulnerability. So I'll be going through all these slides while you work on your pages. So these will come back around for you for inspiration while you're working on yours. But I also want to share with you my page. So this is my little superhero. Um, I have a good amount of like artistic ability, but I always need like a reference point. I do better if I can kind of like look at something. And so I literally went to Google and I typed superhero girl and the Powerpuff Girls came up <laughs> and I was like, yes, I'm going to draw in this style of the Powerpuff Girls. That's what I'm going to do. So that's me in my little sweatpants because that's me. That's who I am. That's when I feel the most powerful is when I can be comfy and I feel cozy and happy. Um, and so that's me. And so my superpowers are empathy, whimsy, patience, perspective, self-love, connection, asking for help, and boundaries. My mission is to empower everyone to practice self-care, play, and grow with confidence and authenticity. And my nemesis, my enemy, is shame and its guilt teeth. And I defeat shame by using my dance moves of vulnerability and listening to my self-compassion playlist and my cute little kitty cat headphones. So as you can see, you can go whatever direction that you want here. And I included a picture of Sailor Moon because she's like my favorite superhero ever. And you can also see in that picture, she is crying because she is a cry girl. And that doesn't make her any less powerful. That makes her more powerful. So all of this is to just encourage you to think about yourself, what you would actually be as a superhero. And keep in mind that being a superhero can mean a million different things. 
So you can go in a million different directions with this. And I went the route of doodling. But again, if you're more of a words person, I typically am, to be honest, like the only time I get super creative is when these prompts come up and it kind of forces me to like get outside of my box. Um, so I would encourage you to give it a shot because you never know what's going to come out. But typically I gravitate more towards words on the natural every day. So you can just answer these prompt, list it out, and then visualize yourself as that superhero. So enough of me chit-chatting. I'm going to put on some music for you while you think about yourself as a superhero and answer these prompts. And then we'll come back together for our next activity.
Okay, so if you're still working on this, don't panic. I obviously have access to our slides and activities before any of you all do. And I can tell you this took me a couple of like good sit down moments throughout the week to get to the point where it was. But if you've at least got a rough draft going on, a couple things jotted down, definitely don't feel like you have to stop working on this just because we're moving on to something else here. And if you feel comfortable once you get your pages ready, we would love to see your superhero self in Sonder Club. Um, we're going to go ahead and move into our next activity because I want to make sure we have time to get to everything. But if you wrap up the next one a little early and you want to flip back to this, keep working on it, you do it. So we are now going to move into our journals, starting on page 16 with our gratitude love letter. So like I said before, we're kind of doing like something super fun and then we're going to kind of roll it back and do our gratitude letter. And then we're going to do something fun again. We're going to do our bingo board. So Go ahead and flip to page 16 in your journal. And what this page says is it's asking us to write a letter of gratitude to someone who has inspired you to feel confident in who you are. How did they impact you and what are you grateful for? Write freely. So here is my gratitude letter. Um, I decided to write this to a physical therapist that I saw earlier, well, I was going to say earlier this year, but it's a new year, right? <laughs> so I saw her um, last year to help with some pelvic floor therapy things, and she ended up helping me with so much more. Um, so it says, Dear Kat, thank you for validating my thoughts and feelings. Thank you for showing me that my instincts are good and for reminding me that no matter what anyone tries to tell me, the person who knows my body best is me. Thank you for making space for me to show up exactly as I am and the ways that I had the ability to. You never made me think or feel negatively towards myself at any time. And I started to feel guilty about anything. You stepped in quickly to remind me how normal my stumbles and setbacks were. You also made sure I knew that I was deserving of rest, fun, and all positive human experiences. Your gentle, consistent care reignited my belief in myself and pushed me to continue being my own advocate to stop men mentally punishing myself and be being to focus on my care again. I was able to get the help that I needed for a variety of issues and I'm continuing to build upon that self-care now. You're making more of an impact than you know. Sincerely, Bailey. So that's who I chose to write my letter to, but there are some inspiration over on the left of people you might decide to write your letter to. Um, you could do family members or friends or partners. You can write a letter to you, yourself, your amazing superhero self. Um, you could write it to kids, pets. Um, you can also write it to people you don't know. Because I know I listen to a lot of podcasts and I feel like those people, I'm with them every day in the car or while I work. And so sometimes it feels like I know them. So you could do it on podcasters, authors, faith-based figures, celebrities or like influencers or online personalities because some of those people are really empowering um, therapists fictional characters healthcare professionals who have helped you like who I decided to write my letter to um, different communities that you're involved in and a part of different people that you've met through those communities um, industry experts or mentors and mentees so I will put on some music for you to write your gratitude letter. And if you can't think of somebody right now, if you're not ready to write this, again, that's totally fine. You can just come back to it later. You can keep working on your superhero sketch, and then we'll move into our bingo activity.
Okay, so if you're still working on your letter, if you're still deciding on who to write to, if you just figured out who you want to write to, but you do it later, again, just because our time here tonight you know, has a time limit doesn't mean that your time with your journal does. Um, but I want to make sure we get into our last activity, which is our bingo board. So we're going to move into that. For those of you that are doing your gratitude letter, either if you're doing it now, you've finished it now, or you're going to do it later, consider giving it to the person that you're writing it for if you're able to. I'm sure it would be very special for them. So we are now going to move into page 21, which is the create your own bingo board. So we're going to have fun with self-care this month by adding activities or getting inspiration from the app and challenging ourselves to get a full row, so a traditional bingo, or a full house, so meaning marking off all the spaces um, this month. So here are some examples. So the bingo board that I made is here over on the left. I tried to kind of do a balance between like self-care in the ways that I really enjoy, like getting my nails done and um, getting my hair done and maybe like buying a few things for myself. Like I've had a running list of like, I need some new shoes <laughs> for like weeks now, but I haven't actually bought any. Um, and then things that like I know are good for me that I'll feel better when they're done, but are like harder, like doing my taxes and, you know, calling to make a, an appointment with a new doctor. I hate those things. But once they're done, I feel so much better. And then there are things I have to do. So there's that. And then this is actually my birthday month. My birthday is actually in about a week. Um, so the very bottom spot I left for like little fun birthday things for myself. So I'm taking a little trip to Hot Springs, Arkansas. Um, so I put like birthday trip souvenir, treat myself, birthday trip relaxation, love myself, birthday trip, see something new. So those those are my bingos. Oh, thanks guys. Um, and then I also pulled a couple different bingo boards out of the app because it specifically said to like use the app for inspiration. So that's what some of these little white squares are from is the app. So there's all kinds of different ideas there. And there's two more <laughs> um, bingo boards here from the app as well. If you didn't know, if you go to the game section inside the app, there's always um, bingos there for each month, um, each season. And then there's some that kind of go throughout the year the year like um there's like two different book lists in there they're like bingo book boards and then I also pulled this from our monthly setup of just like some different habits and things that like you may want to put on like your bingo board or it may inspire you for some other habits um, and then I also have some examples from Sonner Club from one of the last times that we did bingo boards so it was like back in October so they're there may be some like fall doodles and things here, but still lots of fun things for inspiration. Um, I know for me, you know, call, fall is kind of like the beginning of like my hibernation season and it doesn't end until spring. So some of these are probably still the vibe right now here in February. And so I will put on some music for you while you work on your bingo boards and I will cycle through all of these um, different examples and things for inspiration. Um, definitely let us know if you're going with like a certain theme or what some of the things you're putting down are, because you never know, you might help somebody fill in their last few squares.
believe it or not, we have come to the end of our time together. This was such a fun social. I love these activities together. So thank you all so much for being here tonight. We would love to see any and all of your pages in Sonder Club. I want to see your superheroes. I want to see your bingo boards. I want to see those gratitude letters. I thought that this was so much fun and such a lovely way to spend Friday evening. So thank you all for being here. We are still doing the Refer Friend program. So if you refer someone to Silk and Sonder, they get $10 off, you get $10 off, and then you can come do fun socials together. Um, if you're not already subscribed as an annual member with an annual subscription and you are able to upgrade to annual, consider it. It can save you quite a bit of money in the long run if you know you're already going to spend it anyway and if you can make that investment up front. Um, and then there is always a feedback survey at the end of all these socials. You can take it right now using the links that Malika will be throwing into the chat or by using the QR code. Please fill out the survey. I promise HQ looks at all of them and future socials are changed and created based on the feedback that we get. So very important. Um, and then also Malika is going to put a link to our YouTube in the chat. So this social is recorded um, and it'll be up in the YouTube in a few days along with all of our others. So if you ever can't make it to one, if you want to go back and replay, you can do that. But make sure that you save that link because um, it isn't searchable otherwise. So definitely want to save that bookmark it, keep it forever. And then I will also share a link to my playlist in the chat. I will share with you all the one that we had tonight. Um, and then also my master list because I make playlists each month and then eventually they all get cycled into my master list. Um, but you're welcome to follow that, jam out to it, pull songs from it to make your own list, whatever floats your boat. It was my sincere pleasure to be with all of you this evening. Yes, little baby Groot says goodbye. He's snoozing over there. Um, and until next time, we will see you all in Sonner Club and be good to each other and keep feeling confident. We'll see you all at the next one. Skin is glowing, my energy is flowing